Hey everyone, welcome to Sleepy Pod's video channel. Today we will be doing a demonstration of the Clickit Utility Dog safety harness. Before you purchase Clickit Utility, you need to know your pet's size. Measuring your pet before purchasing the safety harness is a really important step because proper harness fit is optimum for safety. Using a measuring tape or a piece of string, place one end between the shoulder blades. Wrap the tape around the chest and then around the neck to form a figure eight. Make sure the tape is resting comfortably around the lower part of the neck. Record the length where the tape intersects and refer to the size chart at the beginning of this video for the correct harness size. Open up all three snap buckles. Position the vest in front of the dog and clip the collar. Lay the straps across the back of the dog. Snap the straps to the bottom of the vest on each side. Then click the collar slide on the collar before adjusting the size. Rotate the collar to access the slide adjuster. Adjust the length to three fingers snug. Rotate the collar back until the walking leash ring is to the rear of the dog. Tighten or loosen the straps by sliding the small straps and tucking the extra into the vest. Leave enough room again for three fingers to fit in the vest. When using the harness outside of the car, use the D-ring silencing straps. Pull the small tab up and through the D-ring, then re-secure to keep the D-rings from rattling. Cars made after 2003 all have rear seat anchors made for child safety seats. Turn the hooks on the side and push under the child seat latch bar, and then turn up and pull to catch. Repeat for the other strap. The ideal length of the strap will put the dog's rear end close to the back of the seat. Even though your dog might want to have more slack, it is much safer to keep the car strap snug. Loosen the end of the strap and scoot the webbing till the desired length is achieved. Make sure the end of the webbing is pulled tight after the adjustment. Next, pass the hook through the rear D-ring so that it catches the front D-ring and then pull back to secure. It can be easier to rotate the D-rings into the hook. Finally, pass the car seat belt through the main harness straps where they cross and buckle in. And that's it. Thanks for stopping by.